This is Steve from It's a CAD World. Uh, recently I've re received the question of how to format part numbers according to parameters, uh, especially in the situation of, um, of I parts and I tables. And the function is not quite compatible uh, in I parts unless you use some functions in Excel. So let me quickly show you how that can be done. So right now I have a part. It has three parameters to it. Uh, a length, width, and thickness. So what I can do is I can make this into an I part. I can actually have those values show up in the part number of each of the the different variations. So I'm going to create this as an I part. I'm just going to create a second variation here, so I have so you can see the changes happen while I work on this. So I have two different variations. And I'm going to, uh, now that I have this, I'm going to use Excel to kind of map some properties into the part number field and use some Excel formatting there. For that to work, I have to obviously uh, edit the Excel, edit the table via the spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and, and do that. So what I'm going to do here for my what I want this to show is I'm going to have it just say block and then the length, width, and thickness. First off, I'm going to use an equal sign to signify to Excel that I'm actually going to be creating an equation. I'll use some quotations around the word block because I want to have uh, that be the first thing that it sees in that line. Then I'm going to use an ampersand. This is just computer coding speak for it to understand, okay, I'm now going to append onto that text something else. I can use the Excel address uh, C, and then I'll also do, I can do a, um, if I want to do like maybe by uh, some things like that, I can do another ampersand, and then I do a quote, space, X, space, quote, another ampersand, as you can see, I can get a lot of different variations on this and, and really add some length to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. So now that I have that, you can see that it will append all that information together. I'm now going to just use normal Excel copy function and fill that down. You can see it copies it. One thing about this though is because the first row has the inch marks in it, I'm going to get those in. Uh, I'm not going to get that in the second row because the way this works, but that's a real simple fix. Just edit these cells so they don't have those inch marks or that inch designation in it. And now it cleans up nice and easy. So now when I save this and close it, Go back over to Inventor. I'll wait for Inventor to get caught up from all those changes in Excel. It's going to give me uh, a warning here that it saw some differences as it comes back. That's pretty typical. And let me show you the table real quick here in Inventor. Uh, you'll now notice that the part number column has red cells. Those red cells mean that there's some sort of an Excel formula driving those values. So it's nothing to be alarmed about, but you will see those uh, as time goes on. All right. Thank you for watching. Please keep uh, look out for more videos. And I'm always listening on the line for other questions just like this one. Thanks. Have a good day.